Hey, what's up guys? Liam Griffin here, AKA Fast Two Door, and I've got uh, part 10 of the Tahoe show truck build for you. Got some more work done as usual, and I did a lot of work on the interior. I got my last ordering of parts done, and now it's just time to put it all together, wait for some more stuff to come in, and I should be wrapping my interior up pretty soon. So let's, uh, let's show you what we've got going so far. As you can see right off the bat, I've got some pieces painted here. I've got my A pillars painted. They're going to go in my truck. I actually smoothed this one. Uh, this was my driver A pillar that had the gauge cluster in it, and it no longer does, so I filled in those holes and painted it. Passenger pillar as well here, same thing. It's got the handle holes in it still. I left those. And the main thing, check this out. So in the last video, you saw some work on my dash insert here, and I'll show you. I've actually got this piece pretty much done. Check it out. So you can see I did a lot of work to this piece. I completely redid my stereo mount. Uh, now I've got a mount for my single din radio and then I've actually got a half din right here. I've got a half din EQ that will go over top of it. And then below that I fiberglassed in these three gauge pods here in place of my air conditioner and that's where I'm gonna have my gauges now instead of in my pillar and then below this I've still got my pocket I'm gonna do something cool in here you can see all around the edge of this I've actually smoothed the factory crease that comes in these you can really see it right here I think it gives it a much nicer look a lot more clean, it was real busy before, had a lot of lines in it. So I think that'll be a real smooth addition to the truck. And then I'm going, I'm going a little bit different direction on the interior uh, as far as the dash goes. I was originally gonna do a red dash, and now that that insert piece looks so good, I think I'm just gonna stick with a black dash and then have that as like the focal point of the dash. So I'll show you here, you can probably barely see it. I've started doing my dash insert and I actually got this cover. This was a cover I got off of, I can't remember the website, but it was $200 and it's molded plastic to fit my dash and it came out really well. I actually epoxied it or it was like a silicone adhesive that I used to uh, attach it. Clamped it down in a bunch of different places and glued it. <coughs> Let it dry for a couple days and this thing feels like factory. I mean, it's nice and smooth nice and solid doesn't flex any covers up everything nice and uh, so the dash itself will be black and then I'll have my uh, red insert in this lower part here I've actually got there you can see I, and if you remember from a past video where I actually wrapped that in leather and uh, I'll take you around to the other side here pardon the noise it's raining outside I'm not sure if you guys can hear that so I'll show you the other side of the dash here not sure so you can see it looks pretty good there it's a real factory look nice and smooth it covers up everything in the front and then I've got my glove box that I actually wrapped in leather as well and then my airbag here I've covered in this gunmetal suede pretty cool I think it looks really nice complements well it doesn't stand out too much it kind of looks classy uh, I think the red dash might have been a bit bold and again my console my back area I'm still working on that I haven't made any progress really on these trim panels I've still got to make this plate and make the front plate here to finish that off and then do the other side but it's coming along again I got some more stuff on order uh, for the interior to finish that up and then I'm only thing after this once I get that done is uh, the door panels here I'm still working on these I've worked with a couple pieces of dye <coughs> a couple different kinds of dye didn't really find any colors that I liked, so I think I'm gonna take the door panels off and rewrap them uh, the color that I want, uh, or do something custom, I don't know yet. And then of course my seats, I've still gotta do my seats. Uh, I'm still recovering from the price tag of $850 to uh, recover my seats. So we'll see how that goes. I might just buck up and do it, I might not. Uh, I don't know yet. You'll know as soon as I know that for sure. All right. Appreciate it guys. Thanks for staying tuned. Uh, 
be sure to subscribe, like the video, share them, watch all of them. Uh, be on the lookout. I did a QA and a video that I'm coming out with where I answer a lot of you guys' questions that you've been asking me about my swap. And also, I'm coming out with some more detailed technical videos on the process of doing an LS swap in your truck. So uh, that should answer a lot of questions people have about the ins and outs of doing a swap. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you next time. Uh, be sure to check out facebook.com slash fasttudor, fasttudor.com, where you can check out all the coolest car truck videos on the Internet, and also shop.spreadshirt.com slash fasttudor. And we'll see you guys in the next video.